In this video, we're going to be installing the Easy Claw bracket for the airlines, for the trailer airlines. We're also going to be installing this Easy Claw tensioner. This is a 25 pound. As you can see, it has the sticker right there. And this is the, the part number. This is the part number, the 812300. This is the one we're going to be using for this type of airlines. This is just the regular electrical and the two airlines. So this is the one we're going to be using. And it also comes with the rib nuts. So we can install it. And they also sell this, this other type. This is the 2305. With this one, it's the hydraulic tensioner. This is for the tanks or trailers with thicker hoses. This one, it's a little harder to pull out. That one's a 40 pound and the 25 that one's easier to pull out and we're also going to be installing this two airlines and the electrical so we're going to go ahead and mount it on this side this on the driver's side and we we we're going to align it to this rivets it has right here we think on the other side it has a support for the rivets so we're just gonna go ahead and align it to those to those rivets as you can see they align perfectly so this is where we're gonna mount it so we're gonna mark the holes so we can go ahead and drill it So now that we marked the four holes, we're gonna go ahead and use a puncher so we can start to drill. So now we're just going to go ahead and drill it with the smaller drill bit. Now we're going to go ahead and drill the four holes with the bigger drill bit. This uh this is a 2764 and we're also going to be using this hose uh, just to we're going to use it as a stopper so we don't drill all the way into the cap So the four holes are ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert the rift nuts. I'm gonna be using my own rift nuts. This is the eight millimeter. Uh, I'm not gonna be using the ones with the kit. The reason I'm not gonna use those is because I wanna use stainless steel bolts. So these are gonna be eight millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and insert the rift nuts. We're gonna be using this tool. I'll try to leave the link in the description in case you guys wanna buy one. So you just insert the rift nut into the hole and you just close the handles. So now you just turn this knob like, like you're unscrewing a, a bolt just to the left and the rift nut is in place now. So we're going to go ahead and insert the second one. Just remove the bolt. So 
So that's the third one. So to install the rift nut, first you have to open up the handles and then you screw in your, your rift nut. Just close, push, uh, just screw it all the way in. And then just go ahead and insert it to the hole and just close the, the handles once. So just close the handles once. I think by just closing it one time, it's enough for the rift nut to compress. Uh, you don't want to put too much force into the into the bolt. You might you might strip the tool, or even the the rift nut. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove the the tool. So the four rift nuts are in place. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put the the, the bracket. So now we're just gonna go ahead and mount the bracket. gonna go ahead and mount the tensioner it's just those two bolts So now the bracket and tensioner are in place. Now we're just gonna go ahead and install the, the two lines and the electrical. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the, the air lines. So this is the way they come with the fittings. So we're just gonna go ahead and insert this fitting into this valve. And we're gonna be using a 22 millimeter socket to put it in. And we're gonna be holding it using this uh, adjustable wrench. Make sure you hold it before you start to put it in. Uh, you don't want to break the, the, the back side of the valve. And you don't have to put Teflon. It, it already comes with it. So that one is in. Now we're going to do the second one. We're going to go ahead and remove this piece and do the same thing. So that right there is good enough. Now we're gonna put in the, the hoses. 
now we're gonna go ahead and install the two airlines before you remove them you can take a picture so you don't get this too mixed up if you got this too mixed up you can go ahead and push in the the red valve and the dash valve and the line that that you hear air coming out that, that one's going to be the red one but it's this one right here So we're going to be using the 7 8 wrench. So you hold it you hold the back piece with one and tighten it with the other one. That right there is good enough. Now we're going to do the blue one. And again just hold the back side and tighten with the with that one right here and that right there should be enough it's gonna install the, the electrical line so those two are done and now we're gonna go ahead and mount it to the to the bracket this clamp comes with the bag on the with the with the airlines in case you need to buy more of those they also sell it separate I have one here this is a part number and um, they, they sell different types and this middle piece right here you can remove it and it'll look something like this one you can remove that piece or you can use the that separators that separator So now we're just gonna go ahead and mount it. So now we're gonna go ahead and mount it. Just make sure it doesn't hit on the on the catwalk. So right there is in place. We're gonna install the glance. So we're gonna do the, the same thing on the red one. So this is how they look now. We're just gonna go ahead and put it into the trailer. So this is the way it looks now. As you can see, it's not hitting anything on the truck. Before it was hitting right here, as you can see, it messed up my paint. So the when you pull the, the tensioner down, this wire will come out and it'll return back to position. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching.